Charles show this is the fourth addition to the Tipman upgrade series uh, last I showed you how to do the hop-up mod uh, for threading your hop-up uh, now I'm going to show you how to G hop now what G hop is is basically in between a flat hop and a R hop um, it's kind of a lazy man's R hop that's what is being being called but it's Basically, what you're going to need is two buckings, um, one for the actual contact patch that sits in the inner barrel and is glued onto the inner barrel, and then a outer bucking that is rotated inside out, shaved down like a flat hop. Now, for your buckings, you kind of want to be pretty precise with this. Uh, you want a really good inner bucking rubber for your inner barrel. I've had a lot of luck with the Purple Prometheus, really soft buckings are I find they're the best for the g-hops uh, and then you want to go with not just any old outer bucking uh, but you want to go with something pretty decent this is a G and G bucking you can go with double Prometheus if you want but uh, I don't have double Prometheus but you want to go with something that could be flat hopped and would be a good flat hop for your outer bucking so don't cheap out on the outer bucking what you're going to do first is cut down your um, your inner bucking, that's what I'm going to call it, to fit your uh, inner barrel sleeve. So you basically just want to measure it out, cut it down, and fill in this window here with the uh, purple Prometheus uh, bucking. After that, we're going to turn this G&G &G bucking inside out, tip of the barrel, and they turn it inside out or they use pliers or whatever, but you have to turn this inside out and you have to shave it like a flat hop. So if you know the flat hop, G hop is just one more step, uh, not too labor intensive. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that stuff ready and show you the steps as we go. Now that you have your main bucking turned inside out, uh, we can go ahead and shave down this little nub here and shave down the line for the inner barrel groove. So now that the outer bucking is shaved down, you should barely see any indentation from the actual uh, nub inside the bucking or the actual outside uh, ridge for uh, seating it in the uh, inner barrel. Now for the actual inner nub or inner bucking, uh, you basically have to practice putting on the motion of the uh, inner bucking so that you can get it in one smooth motion when gluing this on and then it will fit right on uh, the inner barrel uh, protrusion. Basically how to glue this on, you want to get a toothpick and a drop of CA or you can use some JB Weld uh, and or epoxy and put a little dab on the toothpick, wipe it on the corner of the inner barrel, lay on your bucking, this, let it cure and then do the other side. Um, and then once it's dry, I would let a, you know, a good hour pass some people do 24 hours if you're doing like a, you know, a JB weld. Um, and then put the other bucking on it and then test it. But yeah, make sure that you don't put the other bucking over top of this um, before it is fully cured, the glue. So now that you have this glued down uh, for the G-Hop, you want to go ahead and let it dry and then take a really, really fine grit uh, sandpaper and just go over basically the sides um, and make sure that nothing is really protruding. You don't have to do that if you perfectly cut it, but if you're a bit off, it doesn't hurt to do this step. Dun, 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 dun. We're almost there, guys. We have officially glued the G-Hop uh, bucking on. I uh, took a cleaning rod 
and some silicone spray clean the inside very carefully um, make sure you don't have any acetone or anything when inside barrel when cleaning up if you do use it um, you don't want the Teflon coating on the Mad Bull or uh, something similar to corrode um, now it's time to uh, basically slip the uh, flat hopped bucking over the top of our G-hop um, so before we do that I always like to put a different kind of silicon oil more of a long term on the inside and the outside just to help get it started because you know every, everyone needs a break in their hop up and I like not to have metal on rubber contact without an oil. So when inserting this, you basically want to look for your indentations that were shaved down, which mine are pretty shaved down. Um, but yeah, just look for your indentations and then slip it over on a good spot that's nice and clean and doesn't have any kind of debris or anything imperfections on the bucking itself. So I like that position right there. And there, and there we go. It's installed. And there we go. That's a G-Hop in a nutshell. So I'll let you know how it goes and how it performs and uh, if it's worth going just flat hop or if it's worth going G hop or R hop in the future. And uh, yeah, so that's the fourth video in the Tipman upgrade series. Uh, uh, let me know if you wanted to know anything more uh, and I can go further into it in the comments below. Stay tuned for more Mean Charles content.